Hello Libra, this is your bi-weekly reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, sorry for not uh, posting anything yesterday. I did take a day off just to clear my energy and also I had lots of things to do around here. So uh, you can watch this reading if you are a Libra sun, moon, or rising. Libra on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the seventh house or Venus in Libra, you can watch this reading. Um, we are looking at your past, present, and future today, so it is kind of like a bi-weekly reading. I think I will update the, uh, time frame, uh, in the, in the, um, title, uh, because, um, this is sort of a real-time reading. We really are looking at your past, present, and future, so I don't want to, uh, misinform, uh, misinform anyone, um, by keeping the bi-weekly, uh, dates the same. Hopefully that makes sense. We're using the Modern Witch Tarot deck today for your reading by Elisa Sterley. Uh, if I need further clarification, I'll be using the After Tarot here. Uh, this is by Pietro Ligo and Corinne Kenner. Our work by Julia Francesca Massaglia. Also, uh, we'll be using the Rumi Oracle here by Alana Fairchild. Okay, to get an oracle message for you at the end. Of course, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, all that information is below in the description. I am accepting personals at this time, but get your uh, reading booked, uh, please, before the end of the month, because I am going to be traveling uh, in April. So please come and get your readings, your personals this week, if possible. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Libra, what's going on with Libra? Past, present, and future. Show me Libra's past, present, and future. All Libras that may be watching, Libra suns, moons, and risings. Libra's on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the seventh house and Venus in Libra. Show me their past. I just saw the queen of pentacles there. So some of you are uh, taking good care of yourselves, your homes, those you love. Um, very nurturing energy, very down to earth, very grounded energy. Some of you are spending time outside in your garden, in nature. Others of you could be dealing with a Capricorn female. Show me Libra's past, present, and future, please. Feel free to fast forward to the reading, guys. I am going to shuffle on camera, though. They're telling me three. The number three, so the Empress. Let's do three more shuffles here. Two more shuffles here. Show me Libra's past, present, and future. Ooh, these cards. Some of you are doubting your gifts or doubting yourselves. Wands reversed Sagittarius, Queen of Wands reversed. Could be a Sagittarius with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Knight of Swords. Ooh. Could be dealing with an earth sign that has a lot of air in their chart and Cancerian in their chart. I'm also seeing Sag coming up here. Ooh, Aries as well.
Okay, we do have a match here. The Emperor and the Empress. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower in reverse Scorpio. This is also Pluto. So uh, the way I would interpret this as someone is trying to prevent the tower from falling or someone has dodged a bullet here. All right, so this is also avoiding a disaster or catching something before it gets really bad. I'm also, I'm definitely seeing Scorpio underneath that. Some of you are Libra Scorpio cuspers or you uh, have Scorpio in your chart. Okay. I'm definitely seeing in your past someone here for like giving up on something. After nine months, nine years, you know, nine weeks, whatever, I feel like after trying so hard, uh, you, there was this feeling of just wanting to give up. Um, I also feel like this might have involved a work situation here. I'm seeing uh, you really weren't happy. Uh, with the work you were doing, or this could have been a Sagittarius, wasn't happy with the collaboration or the, the team that they were on with you. Some of you have Sagittarius highly aspected. So you could be a Sag with a Libra moon, or you could be a Libra rising. Uh, definitely seeing a lot of fire in your past year, but I, I'm seeing a situation in which someone here um, I kind of feel like you started off wanting to give up and so things just went downhill from there. Okay. Uh, I kind of get the feeling that something was turning sour. Now I am seeing a fuck boy here. Excuse my language. I am seeing a fuck boy here. This page of pentacles in reverse. Of course it could have been a child, but I don't think children can, are old enough to drive. And I do see someone here moving on from a situation. Uh, they definitely came back into your life here. This earth sign is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, they're being difficult. They're being very difficult with you, Libra. Um, I'm hearing they don't take no for an answer. They wouldn't take no for an answer. Okay. I, I am going to keep with the fuck boy here, calling them a fuck boy because that's what they are. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who's a social climber. They're very disorganized. This could be someone with a learning disability, of course. Uh, they're coming up uh, with the King of Swords reversed and the Knight of Swords and the Chariot. I'm sorry. I think the King of Swords was upright. This person could have Aquarius or Gemini highly aspected. Okay, a bit of um, a hard ass as well. This person uh, came back to you. They were definitely moving towards you. But I really get, get the sense that uh, like they just don't have, they didn't have their shit together. I also see a lack of trust in the past here. All right, I see someone acting recklessly as well. This could be someone that has poor judgment or they just go off and do things without thinking, without thinking things through. I'm also seeing someone who's a bit of a daredevil here. This could be someone that rides a motorbike or a bicycle and they kind of, um, they come and go as they please, for sure. I see that. Now let's go into your current situation. The cards are really messy. Really very messy here, okay? Well, not really enjoying having them like that, but... We have the Five of Wands with the Judgment card and the King of Cups with the Five of Swords and the Magician. I see a lot of arguments and fighting and squabbles and people just not getting along or seeing eye to eye here. I'm seeing the truth is going to come out about these people. These could have been karmics that you are dealing with. A lot of fighting. I'm also was hearing religious war. This could have been involving religion or people from different backgrounds here just quarreling. You have judgment here. so. Judgment Day, final decision, the truth coming out. These people really seeing the truth for what it is. These people really coming to judgment. 
I see a water sign here, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, with the Five of Swords. Uh, we also have Aquarius here. I'm definitely seeing a Cancerian coming up in your energy. Someone here loves you very much, Libra. And they, um... They're watching this happen. They're watching these people argue and fight and then are, you know, receive judgment from you. And I think all along they've just been very calm, cool, and collected. Uh, but for some reason I don't get a nasty energy off of this person, even though they have the Five of Swords. I feel like um, in this situation, this could be someone with Cancer and Aquarius in their chart. I feel like this person knows that these people are getting what they deserve. Magician, something is being initiated and manifested here. Uh, your manifestation is very high this week. If there's something you want to make happen, you can. Uh, you can literally speak it into existence. I'm also seeing the power of the written word, the power of your speech. Very powerful here. Some of you are dealing with a uh, Virgo, a Gemini, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius, but this is you. <clears throat> Going into the future here, this will be next week or so. You know what? I'm going to put down a few more cards in a minute. You have the hanged man in reverse with the empress in reverse. We also have some, I want to say, something blasphemous going on as well with the empress in reverse. All of that is you. We have the eight of pentacles and the emperor. So there is a true match here. Your masculine, your divine masculine is coming up here in the upright position. Could be an Aries, a Taurus, or a Leo. I'm seeing an Aries coming up here for sure. Lyra, you may... Uh, I see someone here who's really procrastinating about some decision. For me, the hang man, the hang one here is someone who is a hypocrite. This is someone that says one thing and does the other. They're a charlatan. Could be dealing with a Pisces. I don't feel like this is your energy. This is someone you're dealing with. We have the title card in reverse with the Empress. You may be experiencing some fatigue next week. I'm also seeing illness. This could be minor illness. It could also be uh, fertility issues. Um, others of you um, Uh, what I want to say is don't sell yourself short. Don't believe everything you read and don't believe everything you think. Because I'm also literally hearing someone's words are poisoning you or something you heard or something you wrote or something you're doing is poisoning you, is making you feel sick. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. I feel work is going well. You're very dedicated to whatever you're doing. I also see someone designing something here or doing something on a tablet. You could be, I'm also seeing uh, you making lots of something. So you are like someone here could be working on, for example, I've been working on a uh, an Oracle deck here. Some of you are designing uh, something like that or working on an art project, like I said, I'm seeing someone here who is a designer. Your masculine is coming up here, very present. This is someone that's supportive of you. Um, and also this could be someone that uh, does uh, work with you or support you in your work, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, go into the future here a little bit and put a, a few more cards down. Here, font reverse, sun reverse, major arcanas, three of wands, Aries, 
Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Hermit in Reverse with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I really see uh, someone around you here coming up. This could be someone who's a bad friend. Uh, I'm seeing someone here who could be rebelling against um, their own philosophies in life. The Hero Font Reverse to me is also someone similar to the Hanged One in Reverse. Um, uh, not a hypocrite, but someone that is very fundamentalist. Someone that um, goes against their better judgment, or this could be someone that has to teach someone a lesson, but in order to teach someone a lesson, they have to give them a taste of their own medicine. I have Taurus and Leo and Aries coming out here. If you're dealing with a, with a Taurus, they're a bad friend or they have uh, ill intentions towards you. Uh, if you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is depressed or the Leo is feeling dim or they are... Uh, If you're dealing with an Aries, the Aries is looking for better things here. They have uh, quite literally turned their back on you and they're looking for other opportunities. I also see you planning your future here. If you have children, your children may be if, they're, if your children are in school, I feel like they have a bad instructor or their teacher is making them feel bad about themselves. So make sure you are keeping an eye on them because I'm seeing a, someone here who has a child and their teacher, the child's teacher is telling them, giving them bad information, bad instruction, uh, uh, a bad role model. Like I said, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is... Uh, a Taurus here. You may be looking for another school for your child or you may be waiting to see if something else opens up here. This fire sign, uh, uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius, is very um, flamboyant. I see someone here who is very in and out, very flash in the pan. They, they kind of leave you out in the cold when you need them the most. This also could be someone that you're in a long-distance relationship with, Libra. You have the Hermit reversed and the Knight of Pentacles. They really leave you feeling lost and lonely, don't they? If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo is ghosting you and um, is doing their own thing. They just want to be single. So Libra, you got a lot of people coming up in your reading, a lot going on. Definitely a lot of, we're definitely seeing Sag coming up in your reading. I, like I said, I see Cancer, I see Aries, I see Scorpio, I see Pisces, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you have Taurus, Virgo. You really are dealing with a lot of different people here, Libra, a lot of different people, okay? So I, if I was confusing or if I... I'm all over the place. That's because you're all over the place. You're confusing. All right. Let's go ahead and pull an oracle message. Oracle message. Pull the Libras. What is your guidance for Libra over the next two weeks? What is your guidance for Libra? Libra, Libra. Woo. You have Beyond Death life and you have star mother arrakis oh this is one of my all-time favorite cards in this deck so you have the energy of starting over here with the card one all right this is also for me like um if someone has recently left your life or passed away it's telling me that there's a new door opening up and there's even more beyond the end here. Um, also, this is about the afterlife. Some of you are really contemplating the afterlife. I have been recently too. I've been thinking a lot about the afterlife recently. This is a very deep card here. And then we have Star Mother Arrakis. So um, this is about connecting with your Star Mother. All right. So I feel like um, I'm speaking to a feminine here. 
who has wounding around their mother figure. And uh, one of the messages I want to tell you is I want you to connect with your star mother. Okay, this is your mother in heaven. This is also possibly your mother who's passed on is connecting with you. She wants to speak to you. I feel there's a Libra here who's connecting with their mother who is in the afterlife. This could also be a grandmother or a mother figure. I'm going to read uh, number 23 for you, which reduces to a five. So there's a little poem at the beginning by Rumi, and then um, I'll get into a little bit of the extended message here, if I can find it. If I can find it. Okay. It says, Star Mother Arrakis, number 23. Be the king who has made his own kingdom. Be the moon that has made her own summit. How much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon? Empty your head of all mortal lusts and become life without breath. You will not call out for God anymore, for you have become immersed in God. Rumi. Your star mother, Arrakis, dances with your soul on the celestial inner planes. She dances in the embrace of Father Sky, shining white and pale, deep in devotion to the light behind all that is. Arrakis, dancing star of the heavens, incites our souls to feel the rhythm of life and surrender to it in flow, in grace, stumbling and in play. Like a child who thinks not of the right steps, but just moves with music and with joy, she reminds you to dance freely and from your heart. She reminds you that your soul is constantly dancing with the divine. What better way to connect with the joy and beauty of your soul than to mimic its movements? So dance, beloved, let your being dance. Oh, Arrakis, your bright beauty penetrates even the darkest of minds to remember, remember, remember. She calls out. Her voice is music to our hearts. You are a child of heaven. You are born of such regal stuff, dear dancing child of the stars. When you suffer, I send you my comfort as stars falling from the sky. When you triumph, my dance becomes wild and light erupts from my heart in all directions. The light becomes music, stirring within you with an urge, almost inexplicable and yet so very deep and real. To make music, to create art, to dance, to play, to be at one with the joyful creative energy that dwells within you, beloved. How absolutely gorgeous. Libra, this is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I send you love and light and blessings to all of my beautiful Libras out there. Take good care of yourselves. I love you very much.